Jay Sandos, alongside the head men's basketball coach here at East Tennessee State University, head coach Steve Forbes. And coach, you just got done with your summer workouts. And during that eight-week period, you really got a lot done, not just on the court, but also the guys worked hard off the court. Right. You know, this is the first year, uh, Jay, we've had four hours on the court. It used to be just two hours and six hours of conditioning. So this year it was four and four, which would give us, you know, two more hours a week on the court. But in the weight room, we accomplished a lot of things. Mike Starkey does an unbelievable job with our weight training program. Octavian Corley, our newcomer, seven-footer, gained 14 pounds. Carlos Curtis gained 14 pounds. Uh, newcomer, freshman. Davian Williamson, 10. A newcomer, DeAndre Bernard, gained uh, 11 or 12. So those guys were all newcomers that put on great weight. And then, you know, Milad and Armas, who's a returner, and Bo Hodges and Jerome Rodriguez, they showed tremendous leadership, Patrick Good in the weight room as far as increasing their strength, not only their, their uh, weight, but their strength as well. I guess having time on the court, those extra hours, uh, it really adds up when the fact you look at how many new guys are with you. I know you mentioned two guys were with you last year could practice, yeah. but you have eight newcomers besides those two guys that, the, right. that really weren't allowed to play last year. Yeah, it's a, very, it's a valuable time, and we use it to, you know, instill toughness, defense, kind of get your system in. We don't put a lot of offense in. It's more defensive orientated in the summertime. You know, we had a couple tough injuries. Isaiah Tisdale only was able to practice for two weeks and then missed the last six with an injury. Hopefully, you know, he'll be ready to go here next week when we start back up. James Harrison had a really good summer up until the last two weeks, and then he too had an injury. But he should be ready to go when we start back here in August. But I thought the time was well spent. You know, we, like you said, we have a lot of new guys. we got to get them up to speed. This team can really shoot the ball. Uh, Trey Boyd, um, Bo Hodges both shot over 50% from three. Bo has, had, Bo had as good a summer as any player I've ever been around. He had a tremendous summer. He shot it well. Patrick Good shot it well. You know, Jerome and, uh, and Maladin showed great toughness inside, rebounding the ball, passing the ball. You know, I was impressed with Carlos, the freshman, Carlos Curtis, Davian Williamson. Davian got a lot of reps at point with, with Isaiah Tisdale, you know, being out. And plus, you know, Patrick played all point guard in the summer, but he can play the one or the two. And so those, those guys, you know, did a, you know, did a tremendous job for us. DeAndre Bernard, you know, very athletic at 6'9", gained some valuable weight, can shoot the three. Kind of like David Burrell, but maybe two or three inches taller. And so I thought each guy had their moments this summer. We just got to continue to put it together. Coach, seems like this is the third straight year you've really had to turn over a, a major piece of the roster, but yeah. something that you're obviously used to doing. And, and for the even some of the guys that have been around for a year or two, they're used to you turning over as well and, and kind of, yeah. you know, sophomores really are your seniors. <laughs> they are. You know, this now this is the youngest team that we've had, though. We only have one senior, James Harrison, if you think about it. Last year we had five or six. The year before, we have stayed older. Now we are a little bit older, but we don't have seniors. So this is probably really the youngest team that we've had. You know, since I've been here, we have we've had some really good high school players come, you know, come in the last couple of years. Bo and Maladin, Davy and Carlos. You know, we have a seven foot transfer from Oklahoma State sitting out, Lucas Keeson, and we're really excited to, to to you know have him in the program for a year and then play next year. But we do have a lot of new guys. You know, it doesn't really bother me. I just think we're really talented. Coach, uh, when you look at your staff, I think this is the first year you're going to return absolutely everybody from, yeah. from the strength guy to your ops yeah. guy. You just have everybody back. We do. That's a good thing. You know, um, I'm proud of the guys that have left because they've all gone on to, you know, a little bit bigger and better things. Uh, you know, Brian Collins, Penny, who was my first, one of my first assistants here, is now the head basketball coach at Tennessee State, Division One. Real proud of him. But this year, you know, Jason Shea returns. Uh, he's been with me forever you know he can complete my sentences for me you know we've been together since Tennessee Brooke Savage the same way BJ Mackey you know coming in for year two Frank Davis is the director of basketball operations it's the first year that I've had carryover in that position so I feel really good about that and then you know we've talked about Mike Starkey in the weight room and then my two GAs are the the two Forbes boys you know Brian Forbes from my hometown who's my cousin and my son Christopher who graduated from ETSU this spring is going to be a GA as well. So we have a lot of continuity, and I think that's good for our program. It's good for our players. Coach, as always, uh, the question is time of year about scheduling, who's on it, what we're going to do, when you're going to finish it. What can you tell us about it? <laughs> it's a work in progress. You know, I can tell you that, you know, we open up uh, with Georgia State, you know, be one of the top teams in the Sun Belt or, or pick to win the Sun Belt. We also have to go right away to Creighton, you know, which obviously is a really good Big East opponent. We 
We play at Illinois in December. We play in the Sun Bowl Classic uh, in late December, right before Christmas. We play Wyoming, and then we play the winner and loser of UTEP and Norfolk State. We picked up home games, uh, home and homes with North Dakota State, uh, UT Martin. Uh, we, work, we have a couple games in this Cayman Island Classic. We play at home against, I think, Chicago State, Sam Houston State, maybe Jackson State's in those. It's a back-to-back two-game deal. You know, and so uh, we still have one more game to get. And we're working on it. It's a, it's a tough one. You know, we're trying to – we always want to try to get a marquee opponent here if we can, and we're working on it. But in the end, we, gotta, we have to get the game that fits our date. And sometimes that's a hard thing to do. Well, Coach, we appreciate the time, especially the update in the summer and just a week or so away uh, before you get to practice, uh, starting to get a little closer to when you can go for yeah, the Yeah, it's an exciting time on campus. You know, the guys are back and they're coming back this week and, you know, football's getting cranked up and volleyball and a lot of the fall sports. And so we're excited to go out, you know, and support them and, uh, and us too. And ours, you know, it starts a little quicker for us this year, Jay, because we can now open up on uh, November 6th. And so we start official practice, if you think about it, September 25th, which is amazing. Thinking back when you and I both started, probably it was October 15th. So the process has is, is, is gotten quicker. And so we have to, you know, once we start here soon, we've got to pick up the pace and start putting things in. Coach, we appreciate the time, and we'll catch up with you here in a few weeks. Thanks.